we're gonna go over these wallets in this video. Hey guys, it's Alexis, and in this video, I wanna talk about my wallets and what I offer and the different designs. And as you guys know, wallets are my arch nemesis, but I think I figured out a way for me to make my style of wallets. And we'll get into that here in a little bit, but I wanna show you the new prototype that I came up with. All right, so it's just my nature, the way I build things. Um, I don't like really, really small items. Um, I'm not a big fan. And one of the main reasons why is because the leather I use, I usually use either nine ounce or five ounce. So having to make wallets, I need to get something thinner, you know, closer to three, three and a half ounce, something like that. So I just shied away from making wallets. Um, and not only that, the stitching is 0.8 millimeter thread and I really ought to be using 0.6 probably. Um, but it's just, it's just for, for my workflow, I really don't deal with these too often. I, I've, I've, this is one wallet that I do make, it's called the Minimalist Bifold Wallet. And it's basically just a five ounce in the back. On the inside, you do have your card, uh, you do have your cash pocket, but this is three and a half ounces. That's why all these wallets have a natural interiors because I buy that one side of three and a half. I, if not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that thin leather for anything else. But uh, more on that later on. So what I did was I designed this, it's just two cards. All right, I think I went over this before. Um, and that's basically just, a, I, call, I call it the minimalist uh, bifold wallet for that reason, because it, really, it only really holds two cards, but it's, it's, not, it's not that thick, you know? So I've been using mine for a long time, probably a year, and I love it. But as you can see, I shove, I don't know, how many cards in that slot, all right? And truth be told, you know, to get to the card in the back, it's kind of a pain in the butt. You gotta, you gotta take them all out to find it. But if you're just carrying a couple cards, four cards, five cards, and some cash, it's, it's a good wallet. I'm not about to make some really fancy, really fancy, super duper tedious, you know, um, fine detail wallet. My wallets are basically functional. And like I said, I'm not gonna go ahead and invest different uh, size stitches, uh, sorry, different uh, th thread size, different pricking iron size, uh, different leather just for the wallets. So this is why I make them like this, okay? Number one. But to eliminate the hassle of putting all the cards in just these two slots, I created this one today. As you can see, this is prototype number one, all right? Now, in true Sofil fashion, okay, which is pure laziness slash ingenuity, I just repurposed the other die I have, the minimalist card wallet die and just used that one piece and wrapped it around the, the, the back. So what this is gonna do is going to allow me to have the same bifold wallet, right? With the cash spot, as well as a spot right here for a card that you can easily get to this way. And my wife looked at me and she said, yeah, that's nice and functional, but you know, it's not really pretty. And that is just kind of my motto. You know, it needs to be functional. You know, form follows function. That's just the way I build things. So true, it's not the prettiest wallet, but is it functional? Yes, which leads me to the next thing. And that is, what should I call the wallet? I'm thinking of calling this the dad wallet, all right? Now you don't have to be a dad to use it, but I just think it's really functional. I'm gonna call it the dad wallet probably um, because it, provides everything a dad needs as far as a wallet. The other thing too is I'm gonna actually run this. I'm gonna go ahead and take my dad wallet, change over all these cards and use this for a while before I actually offer it. For all my bags, uh, the tote bag, briefcase, I use Metropolitan leather and they have the craziest, most beautiful color. So all I had in hand of the three and a half ounce was the natural, okay? But if I offer this, I'm probably gonna go ahead and offer it in whatever colors. And think about it. You can have this wrap around like a navy blue. You know, it could be like a navy blue on the outside and the inside could be like a dark tan. And then the inside, I mean, you could change up all these little pieces to all these crazy little colors, which means that I have to invest all that money in all those different sides, 
you know, I have to get it shipped from the UK, this Metropolitan. But they do offer all their colors in one and a half mil, which is three and a half ounces. So I might go ahead and do that, to be honest with you, if, if there's enough interest in the dad wallet. You know what I mean? Of course, you can marry this with the beautiful stitch colors that I offer, which is every single Ritza Tiger Thread color. I have every single Ritza Tiger Thread color. Believe me, I have it in a drawer over there. I do. So, I mean, you can get really, really creative. That's all I got, really, for this video. I'm gonna use this for a while, but let me know in the comments below what would you call it, and if that's a good design or not. I don't know, I don't know. Just no excuse to make a video, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I'm wasting your time now. All right, talk to you later, bye.